In this video, you will get a closer look at the Chevrolet Advanced Design, an overview its origin, price range, and more. So stay tuned. Chevrolet's advanced design is a light and medium duty truck series that marked the company's first significant revamp after World War II. Its opposite number was GMC New Design, and it was advertised as a bigger, better, and smoother design than the previous AK series. The advanced design trucks were introduced on June 28, 1947. Subsequently, they were sold with numerous minor changes over time until March 25, 1955, when they were replaced by the Task Force Series trucks. Its main assembly point was in St. Louis Truck Assembly in St. Louis, Missouri, with branches at Van Noy's Assembly in California, Pontiac West Assembly in Michigan, and Janesville Assembly Plants in Wisconsin. All of its trucks, along with the Suburban, Panel Trucks, Canopy Express and Cabovers shared the same basic design family. The Cabovers shared the same basic cab layout and bumper, but had a shorter and taller hood as well as different fenders. Chevrolet trucks were the best selling vehicles in the United States from 1947 to 1955, with rebranded models sold at GMC dealerships. There are three primary sizes of this truck, the half, three quarter, full ton capacities in both short and long wheelbases. The Chevrolet Advanced design was classed as a pickup truck with a rear wheel drive layout. The vehicle used three different engine types in its eight year production cycle. It used a 3 4 speed manual transmission in its early days and then a four speed high dramatic automatic system from 1954 to 1955. It also used three different wheelbases and had a curb weight of 4,598 to 7,985 pounds. In 1947, there was a filler cap for the fuel tank on the passenger side of the bed. Vent windows were absent in the doors. Chevrolet was ridden on the hood side with Thriftmaster or Loadmaster beneath. Early in 1949, the gasoline tank was positioned erect behind the seat in the cab with the filler neck at the back of the passenger doorknob. Late in 1949, the trademark at the side of the hood no longer read Thriftmaster or Loadmaster. Instead, it had numbers indicating cargo capacity, which are 3,100 on half a ton, 3,600 on 3 fourth ton, and 3,800 on one ton. Lever action shock absorbers were swapped for telescopic dampers in 1950. That year marked the last time cowl vents were placed on the driver's side, as they were changed from maroon knob to flat steel. Vent windows were added to doors in 195, and it marked the last year for an 800 mile per hour speedometer, chrome window knobs, and a chrome wiper knob. 1953 was the final year for the 216 inch inline six engine. Hood side emblems now only read 3,100, 3,600, 3,800, 4,400, or 6,400 in bold letters. The ID plate on the doorpost became blue with silver letters. In 1954, the windscreen became a curved one-piece glass with no vertical dividing strip in the center. A new steering wheel was added and the dashboard was updated. Also, taillights became circular rather than rectangular. The 1955 series was nearly identical to the 1954 model, except for the restyled hood side emblems and a modern open steering shaft in place of the enclosed torque tube. Despite the buzz made in the adverts, the Chevrolet Advanced design wasn't a hit in the market, as it sold only 660 units from 1947 to 1955. That's quite ridiculous, just to say the least. This vehicle packs a punch, not only in its size, but also in its price. This bad boy can go for $40,000 to as high as $227,000 today. You better get your pockets ready if you plan to land one of this whip in your garage. That's a wrap for today, guys. I'm sure you enjoyed the video, so be sure to smash that like button and stay tuned for another classic car video.